Hi, this is just for information to those who have the risk appetite to invest in stock market. This chart shows you based on your current age, how much monthly SIP amount you need to invest in an equity mutual fund to accumulate a corpus of rupees 10 crores at the age of 60 years. It's very clear. The earlier you invest, the better it is. The most important factor in the compound interest formula is time. A delay of a five years to begin the SIP from 25 years to 30 years will require your SIP amount to almost double from 15,400 per month to 28,400 per month. So don't wait. Don't try to find a perfect investment option. Perfection does not exist. Even if you have low risk appetite, even if you know nothing about stock market, just pick one FlexiCap mutual fund and start the SIP. And this is magic. Your income will grow with your age. So if you can also proportionately increase your SIP amount every year, then the corpus you can accumulate in same number of years can be significantly high. See, just 10% annual hike in SIP amount can help you accumulate more than double corpus. Even if you can't increase the SIP amount every year or by the same percentage every year, it's absolutely fine. Increase the SIP amount whenever you can afford to do so to the extent you can afford to do so. Even if it's intermittent for some months or years in between, it's fine. Any such incremental investment will raise your end corpus ultimately. It will be better than no incremental investment at all, right? See, I started with SIP of 10,000 per month and I didn't do any annual increase. There was no one to guide me like this. But fortunately, I did keep it increasing as and when possible. From 10,000, I increased it to 20,000 after a couple of years, then to 40,000, then 80,000. Then I was back to 40,000 per month, then 1 lakh per month, then reduced to 60,000 per month, and then 1,60,000 per month. So it was half hazard, but still effectively it turned out higher than these straight line increments because I was doubling up or I was increasing it by significant percentage. It was based on affordability rather than anything else. So any incremental investment is at least better than no, no increment. So keep increasing. And while you invest in equity mutual fund, keep in mind your investment horizon should be 10 year plus. You do not invest through any mutual fund distributor, relationship manager, broker, agent, or any advisor. You can take advice from them, but invest yourself directly. Simply just go to mutual fund central website, mfcentral.com, sign up to create your account using a PAN number, choose the funds, set up the SIP. It's that simple, very easy. Choose equity funds, not debt funds, because the debt funds are for short or medium term horizon. Choose two of these funds. One from these categories, either flexi cap or a nifty 50 index fund or a large cap fund or a large and mid cap fund. And one from the mid cap funds category. This one is strictly for a period over 10 year plus. So one of these mid cap would be value addition, would, would fetch little more return, but those are more volatile, more risky. Do not choose any sectoral thematic funds or hybrid funds or multi-cap, multi-assets, or any such other kind of fund which have a restrictive, restrictive investment style. Those may work for full-time active investors, but it may or may not work for passive investors like you all. And choose direct plan, not regular plan. There is a significant saving in commission brokerage. Choose growth option, not IDCW option. IDCW is basically a dividend option where you get regular dividends from the fund house. If you choose growth option, then those dividends are reinvested and the money gets compounded. Choose established fund houses with sound financial backing like HDFC, DSP, etc. And most important, stay invested, stay disciplined to continue your, your SIPs and do not stop it irrespective of market environment. Ignore all the short term volatility in the stock market or fund NAVs. You have to manage your emotions properly. Do not act in panic. Do not buy in grade or sell in panic. SIP is designed to avoid these emotional decisions. So let's keep it that way. And yes, if you like the video, like and share it with your family and friends to whom it might be useful. Thank you.